Are we doing this already? Hello, honey! Mom, you're not in this episode. This is an episode with me, Dennis, and Daniel. I'm spending time with my brothers today. But I thought you were talking about fashion. I'm a fashion girl. This whole outfit needs its own show, Mom. You sure? Do you want me to get out? Yes, please. Thank you so much. Thank you to Lore Coffee for sponsoring this episode. I'm a little bothered today because I heard that my brothers have gotten hold of my old pictures. And they seem to have a problem with the way that I used to dress. So I would like to have a cup of coffee before we start today's episode because I gotta be on my A game and I wanna be sharp, focused, and ready. I feel that I am the masterpiece in style. I have to have the masterpiece in taste. In my home, I have many guests and I have tried all of the top tier espresso coffee makers. So I'm very excited to share with you the Lore Barista System. It does everything you need with delicious, amazing, flavorful coffee in just easy, simple buttons. The Lore Barista System is a high pressure, artisan coffee and espresso machine. Using 19 bars of pressure, that's right, 19 bars of pressure, it creates a silky perfect barista style crema with every cup. The Lore Barista system is compatible with Lore coffee capsules, and these are fully recyclable. This is also compatible with other aluminum capsules as well. All right, here's how she works. Okay, you just pop it in the hole. And choose if you want a medium, small, or large cup. I'm gonna do a medium, because I'm medium vibration today. Ooh. Oh, it's already awakening my senses. Ooh, it's got such a nice little froth. Oh, it smells so good. I literally wanna put drops of ice cream inside of my mug already. The cool thing about the Lore Barista system is that you can create a variety of beverages to keep you fueled throughout your day. And I know I need them, especially today, because I have two brothers who think they know everything. They're younger than me, and they're supposed to respect me and bow down to every part of me and my life. They don't do that. They stomp on me. They step on me. They think they're better than me. And so I'm going to need every type of beverage that's going to invigorate every part of today. From six different beverage sizes to different decadent flavors and exotic roasts, inspiration comes from every cafe quality beverage that you can create with you. The espresso range includes small espresso, medium espresso, and large espresso, while the coffee range is small coffee, medium coffee, and large coffee. Crema is the result of coffee bean oils emulsifying in the process which adds these little micro bubbles and adds a silkiness to each sip. Crema is the Lore Barista System sign of coffee quality. The Lore Barista System and the coffee and espresso capsules can be purchased right down there in the Amazon link below. Let's start the show. Cheers, a true masterpiece in taste. Hello, honey. Welcome to the show, my brothers, Daniel and Dennis. You all know who's my fave. So, while you were moving, we found some photos. Just a few. Okay, that. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. That's these aren't photos. This is my lookbook from How Do I Look, the show oh, that blossomed my uh, styling career. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. These are my amazing famous looks that changed the lives of people who needed it on my show, that we were three times Emmy nominated, four times, uh... there's another organization that awarded us. What are you saying, Daniel? This was 10 years ago. Well, let's take a look. I mean, uh, let's take a look. Wait, so you wore these on the show? This yes, is a lookbook is having a record of every single outfit you wore on every episode. The brands, the way you layered it, pictures to describe it, just in case we ever need to reshoot the episode. So you wore these judging other people's outfits. Is that is that correct? Yes, I did. Perfect. Just, just keep that in mind. We wanted to decide which looks were the worst, and we're going to rank them. Okay, thank you, Dennis. Hence, you are the favorite. I'm flipping through the outfits right now, and honestly, I stand by them. They 
make sense for the time, 10 years ago was uh, 19... Wait, 2022. <laughs> 1912, wait, 2022, 21, 20, 1999, 1998, 1997, 1995, 94, 93, 1992. No, 2012. Oh, what? Um, 2012, year 2000, these make sense. A jumpsuit, high-waisted pants. I love it, I like my looks. No, these actually do look good. Dennis, you agree, right? These are good. Yes, they're, yeah. I love them. Yes. That's why these aren't the photos that we chose. These are the best of the best. We have the worst of the worst. There's only one way that we're going to do this. The right way. And that is doing it rank king style. If you watch the Try Guys, my friend Eugene Lee Yang came up with a ranking system that allows you to freely own what you might like the best and what you just not have vibed with now that you did then. So as long as I'm the rank queen, we can do this. And Eugene, thank you so much for letting us bring your system here to Hello Hanai. And as you say, the rules are, I'm right, you're wrong. Shut the up. So, first one. Oh, yeah. Let I me mean, know. Oh, you guys, oh, this okay. is a cakewalk. Okay, this was... When you were on the set of the A reveal. <laughs> this was a reveal. And that means that it's the final day of the makeover where we got a little bit dressed up because everybody wanted to show their very best version of getting dressed up. It's a lame dress. It's a gold metallic. The prom curls I could deal without, but I love it. She looks expensive. She looks slim. She looks really beautiful and glowy. And I like her bronze makeup. <laughs> At first I was afraid. That's it. <laughs> Next one. Listen. Oh my God, chicken it leg. Is, no, right no, it is not a chicken leg, mom. And by the way, you and I have the exact same legs. I know. It is not the outfit, it is the pose. Many times, if you pose the wrong way, yeah. your outfit could look really off. And that's yeah. a bad pose. This is a bad pose that because I literally look like an Oompa Loompa. Oh, and shit. also, camera angle. You can't shoot down on somebody. Everybody out there who Don't tells blame the photographer, dude. That's the way you stand. <laughs> Like you're ready to deliver the baby or something. Okay, we're gonna put it over here then since he said that. All right. Next. Oh, you're tripping. This is up there in front of, no. This is office chic. It is a beautiful sleeveless leather um, bodycon dress. But of course you're not gonna wear sleeveless leather in an office setting. So I have it layered over a top, a blouse, with a little bit of a tie on the neckline, and it's clean, it's felt. Dennis, do you have a problem? No, I, I would buy my deli food from a person like that. <laughs> no? Okay. Timeless. Time I guess the re <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put this one in the middle. Yeah. Here's I'm gonna why. Put this, I'm gonna put this on a lampshade, how about that? <laughs> how come all the pictures, you look short, huh? Because, mom, okay, no, mom, no. I'm short, let me tell you. These pictures don't lie, mom. Okay, hold on. That is a huge tip that people need to know. When you take a picture, you never have people shoot you from the top down. Kyle, agree, yes? Because when you take it from the top down, it makes you look short. You take it straight on, and that's why when you see paparazzi and they come out, they always take it low, because then it gives you a little bit more inchage mm -hmm. as you're posing in your picture. So this is an Alice and Olivia dress, which Alice and Olivia is still a super awesome brand to wear today. Beautiful clothing, and I still wear her stuff today, so I like it. All right. Oh my God, I still have this dress. We have to burn it. That one isn't great because it's got too much going on. You've got a denim pleated dress, there's ruffles. I, there's a red, whatever. But you know what? In all honesty, I hate it. The outfit, there's two parts to it, both equally bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting that as the first of the worst. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is good. What, what pile do you want, yay or nay? <laughs> yes. I, 
comment below when it comes to look see. number three. <laughs> I what? like this one. Is it right horse? <laughs> no, is it right horse? So they are high waisted tight white pants yeah. <laughs> with a crop jacket, which is giving you the equestrian look. Mm -hmm. But I think it's actually really well fitted on me, and I think it's really cute. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right, these are good. These are good. All right, this one's really good. I'm gonna put this over here okay, in the Okay, let's not lie to the audience. Okay, so I did go through a phase where I was a little bit more. Um, Alice in Wonderland. No. Off with her hands. No. Oh. I liked the more retro look. I love Bill, um, Betty Page. I liked more of that like. Um, 50s diner type of feel, so hence the matte red lipstick, the pencil skirt, the block heels, and the big shoulders, which is just my thing. I still like big shoulders today. I think that look is adorable, and it's one of the best. I feel like I could set two coffee cups right there. <laughs> big shoulder pad. Maybe it's like a little too on the nose of like costumey because yeah. of the shoulders and the colors. Very too Disney. Disney. <sighs> Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> no, this one, this one's a joke. You, Paul, did you put this one in there? <laughs> no, that's a that's a joke. They photoshopped that. Okay, I'm gonna put this is on her down here on the worst. Oh, bring Monica over. She loves the parachute game. Oh I feel like it's a parachute skirt. It's what is just this good. The blazer and the skirt is just <laughs> gross. And I no, I don't like that look. No, you're right. That's um, ugly. Really ugly. Even I'm her age, I don't wear those. I throw it away. I don't wear it. Yeah. Well, mom, okay, mom, this this skirt looks like your hair right now. What are you complaining about? I can make a headband. Yeah, I can make a headband. Oh, yeah, make a headband. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Okay, okay. This is this is, looks like your prom dress. Yes. Right? This. Okay. So you guys know I love big shoulders. I also love this dress. This is actually a Chanel. I wanted bright colors, fun textures, high waisted skirts big shoulders. And I learned from Mama Mai is they're gonna stare at you anyway, Thank so make you. it worth watching. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No, this is your fault, Mom. <laughs> no, it's not my fault. It come out like that. Even me and we come out like that. Them. Like that, look at it. I don't wear none of them like that. They look cheap and ugly. I don't have any problems with these so far, do you? Thank you. Yeah, this is good. This is too good. That's why you take away this one. Whatever. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. What? I like it. It's very Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. I think uh, that looks like. Are you is that crazy? Drapes? Is that drapes? <laughs> Tassels? Yeah. Off the yeah, dude. That's. Uh, this is amazing. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. No. No. Here no, we go. No. Here we go. So, another one of my favorite types of styles were the 70s. So, I loved anything silky. I loved trousers on women. Dolce Gabbana, Issa Laurent, Marc Jacobs did the tassels. Check it out on their runways. They did. Yes, similar to curtain drapes. <laughs> that was their curtain collection. And I think it is really so cool now. I would 1,000% promise, hand over heart, on Monaco, wear that outfit again. Here it comes again, look at that. Oh wow, there's another tassel. All tasseled out for that, oh my god. So here, we were, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's 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 okay. Okay. Meet Julius Caesar. That is terrible, and I tried to layer the tassel look. I can see that I took it too far. I overdid it there with the tassels on top of the belt, on top of this Julius Caesar dress. I hate it. I would say as a fashion huh. tip today, that you have to be careful if you wear one thing that can be themey. <laughs> you wanna just keep that on its own and don't stack more themes along with it because then you'll look costumey or you'll look in character. All right, we need more room. Let's just make more room on this side real quick. <laughs> Oh my god, the yeah, bow the, necklace. The bow is necklaces. The worst. Oh my god, I didn't even see that bow necklace. Now let's remember that How Do I Look was on for many seasons. And in those seasons, I go into different phases of things that I like. And this was my menswear phase. Let me see. Ooh. So we have a clean straight leg pants. Oh my goodness. Almost like a sleeveless tuxedo top. You look like a douche that shows up at the prom with the tuxedo shirt. Did you get it? <laughs> get it, dude? Oh. You get it? Like it's all, you know what I mean? I'm telling you, all of them ugly, very ugly. I don't know how you become a horse for how do I look. Horse, horse, mom. Horse. I love horse. 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 Not, not the horse. No, not horse, not horse, mom. <laughs> for all those that um, watched How Do I Look or watch me today, thank you for seeing my evolution and appreciating that I will always take risks and have fun with my fashion.
This one, you look scary, man. Did you ask if uh, Jeannie got her fashion sense from Mama? Can you get a close-up of this? Did she really? <laughs> I will use it for a headband. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Shut up. Thank you, Laura, for sponsoring this video.